charitable organizations and initiatives have been moving into the online space to spread their message and to raise funds. Local social enterprise Daughters of Tomorrow has been using Facebook to seek sponsors for its Mother Daughter Forum, while Groupon has teamed up with the United Nations World Food Program to have a charity donation drive. The Chop Food for the Needy movement has also been making waves online for urging people to donate food to needy people by paying for food in advance. Razor TV hits the streets to find out if people would indeed be more keen to donate to these online initiatives. Would you actually donate to such initiatives? Yeah. Do you feel that they are trustworthy? If it's on the web, it should be, yeah. Because you can't anyhow do this on the web. Lah. But anyway, normally when you do this kind of initiative, you have some certification, you have some endorsement, right? So that should be okay. No. I don't think so. Lah. I mean, like, you, you have evidence that it's real. Lah. Like, anybody can just create a create such thing and say, oh, this is for charity. Then you'll just buy that kind of thing. Uh, we're rather skeptical about it because uh, a lot of charities have been coming up and then like all the scams and so on. So we have to really see that it's good to use. And uh-huh. then how will you see, how will you be able to tell online? Um, maybe they can like have really the news to cover their actions, like maybe at really at the areas that they will help them, so we can see that oh they are really putting the money there. Donate to such charities? Yeah, definitely. But of course, I would do some research to make sure that like the needy are really being helped yeah how will you be sure how will you make sure that it's reliable uh like through friends or it's like people have actually donated before and or like um these initiatives are set up by people who i know yeah and then uh, i know that they really have a heart for people out there have you actually donated to online charity before uh not online only physically um it has a sense of uh, I am really doing charity rather than just clicking a button. I don't know how well they are done, so if there were statistics, I might um, trust them more. Check like uh, the license or maybe see like if the main objective of the company is to make profit or actually like helping people. But where's the shirt? Groupon CEO Kao Chong has some tips out there for donors who want to ensure their money is going to the right place. I think it's important to work with the right companies, um, those with a strong brand reputation and where there's a lot of safety and security. I think Groupon has been around enough um, to establish that sense of security and trust with our customers. We um, put up in our fine print that 100% of the proceeds go to this uh, organization. Um, we also are able to track um, you know, every payment that goes through um, we have strict measures against fraud um, and every credit card payment that's made on, on our website is 100% secure. Watch our other clip to find out why more charity initiatives are going online.